What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Guys, so I'm actually working on the Mark V today. So I've been trying to figure out why um, when the radiator is on there, it sits so close, right? It sits so close to where the nothing turns on. So I've been trying to figure out why because I need to move this car. I need to move it to the other side of the other side of the house so I've been trying to figure out how to fix this problem right here I don't know what the guy was, I don't know what the guy was missing when he did this but I definitely got a lot more space in there now so like I said I, don't know, I still think this is a perfect car for $500 man we got power Let's see if we have enough to crank it oh fantastic on the first try yeah let's go that whistling sound is what i'm really concerned about Master hat came in, the new clutch master that came in and I've been trying to figure out how to get the old one out. It's right here. Now, some people say that you can just twist it and like it'll come right out, but I've been sitting here trying to twist this thing in all directions and I can't get it to come out. Now, right here behind the clutch pedal, it's what makes the clutch pedal go with pressure. Um, but it sits right here behind this clutch pedal, like right here. And I've been, I took some the pieces that go right here already down and I was just thinking about just taking the whole clutch out and maybe that you know it'll come out with the clutch but that's my only other way to take it down and I can't really get to it because all of the stuff is in the way so I guess I'm about to go ahead and remove this part right here and maybe remove uh, these bolts right here for the dash and see if I can get like a better angle to the inside of it. All right, so pretty much with now all that ripped down, uh, the big piece that was right here in the front right here, and then that piece that was right here, with all that ripped down, you can actually see the um, two bolts that you need to take out. Let me see. So there's one right there it sits like right behind the clutch and then there's another one on the other side so i believe those are the two bolts that you need to take out that releases the um, the clutch cylinder so uh, there is this piece right here that goes in that goes into the frame well and you have to uh so you have to pretty much turn it this is the piece that you have to turn. It's not on the other side of the wall. It's under the body of the car or well, under the dash. So you see the, the piece right there. So it sits in there like this. You just need to turn it and then it will pop out. And then once that pops out, uh, you just push the clutch in a little bit and then it releases that part right there. And then that's how you take it out. Now there's a harder task. So yeah, it was it was much easier to just remove the pedal. Because that that's in there.
because that's jammed in there with that little ball and you can't just like pinch it out through those parts so it's better to just remove the whole pedal because of that little ball that's inside of there yeah because of that so just remove the whole pedal and try and just get it out of there because this spring had just kind of popped out and I didn't see where it kind of popped out from but from my understanding if this ever happened that little plastic piece goes up against the frame right there then the spring goes attached to the little spring that you put the spring part back in and then the cylinder goes through there just like that and everything is back together and then we just take this and hopefully I can put this back into the car like this without <laughs> taking it back apart because if I gotta put it back apart like this inside the car it's gonna be a pain and just like that we have installed the new piece inside and let's go check under the hood now now I gotta figure out how to get that nipple inside of there without breaking that so well here we go so we got spark plugs back in now um, clutches back in clutch masters back in everything except for the headers is back in so I think we are ready to attempt to crank this thing guys this is exciting yeah let's let's hit the piece of this right quick so I've been trying to crank it and I think I am spilling gas I don't think one of the things are locked down I mean I can totally smell the gas but it's, it's not coming from there it has to be coming from one of the injectors at the bottom so now I gotta figure out which injector is spilling out uh, gas well I've been out here trying to figure out why it won't start I'll show you guys right quick because it's starting to rain on me now so I kind of thought to go in the house but I could put power to it right so power to it everything's on the dashes on and but as soon as I put the clutch pedal in and I get nothing turn the key I get nothing so that's where I'm at now I don't know why it's doing that so I guess that's what I have to figure out now it's starting to rain on me but let me get out of here so yeah I guess I will catch you guys in the next video but that is where I am at now probably try and figure out what's going on with that tomorrow or after it finished raining so I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video remember guys have a awesome Remember guys, have an awesome day.